U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is on the move yet again. Now he's in South Korea after visiting China. He's trying to ease tensions arising from China's increasing presence in the South China Sea. Beijing appears to be building up reefs near the Philippines and then occupying them. Well, earlier in the week, the secretary met with face-to-face -face with Russia's President Vladimir Putin. It's the highest level meeting since the crisis in Crimea and East Ukraine began over a year ago. He also met with Ukraine's leaders, all in an effort to get both sides to adhere to their ceasefire agreement. Well, Steve Okunto, our good friend, is a keen observer of these meetings. He's chancellor, of course, of Consular College. Uh, Steve, as a diplomat, would you call John Kerry perhaps maybe a, a rock star or an activist here, traveling as much well, as he has? Well, uh, he has certainly uh, got frequent flyer miles coming to him. <laughs> he was in La Lagos, now, now North Korea. No, he's got a lot of patching to do. And I think after that, uh, what, I, what I believe was a real mistake, uh, not having... Uh, attendance at the uh, Russian celebration uh, recently was a real, real mistake in judgment. So he went there a few days later, went to the uh, uh, fallen, uh, the fallen soldier monument. But he's got some patchwork to do. I mean, the U.S. in Russia that didn't play out the way it was expected. It may not have played out well <clears throat> in Russia and other parts of the world, but it certainly didn't get a whole lot of press and ink here in the United States. And perhaps that's not such a bad thing, politically at least, uh, for the Obama administration here as we approach 2016. But let, let, let's talk about uh, this, this meeting with, with Putin. Uh, what, uh, if anything of substance, came out of it? Well, the recognition came out of it that Crimea is, it appears to be off the table. The recognition came out that the reverse sanctions exercised by Russia in, against uh, e EU countries complying with the United States, that there were, those were working as well. I think a recognition came about that without Putin, the, the way to uh, settle Iran uh, on nuclear, the nuclear accord, and the way to settling Syria, to an extent, is going to be difficult. The U.S., I think, has acknowledged that it needs Putin in each of those cases. But Steve, couldn't even they have a, figured even this out? Even a tacit acknowledgement. Oh, uh, all right, so, uh, tacit Julian. as it may be, but it seems to me this is something they should have known some time ago. Of course well, they but can't that's, deal But that's with. Obama foreign policy, Julian. I mean, you got Hillary Clinton in there who uh, basically stepped in where there was a void. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Obama administration was elected with any kind of foreign policy clue. Hillary Clinton came in, uh, did some rather self-promotional diplomacy, but some good diplomacy. And now comes Kerry, who's a serious person, mm -hmm. patching things up, finding a way to make consistency in something which was inconsistent. I think he has a very difficult job, and I admire him. He's going like a good salesman. He's going to his client. Well, I guess it doesn't bode well in your mind for the Obama administration when it comes to foreign policy. But we have the question now here of sanctions, uh, certainly crippling the Russian economy. The ruble is at an all-time low. And you also have uh, the, the NATO countries that, that, that rely on Russia for gas. What happens now? Well, the ruble is coming back, actually. If you, uh, if, you, if you follow the reports, it's coming back up a bit, and the price of oil is going to help that. Uh, the European nations are the ones who suffered. Their relationship with Russia economically is, is intricate. It's not, you can't, you can't just pull it apart as readily as we would like to believe we could have. Mm -hmm. And Angela Merkel's visit two weeks ago, again, underlined that. There, is, um, there are bonds there that, uh, that are deeper than those we perceived, I think. You know, I remember as a young man uh, in Italy, uh, Fiat Motors was a great presence in Russia. And some of us who were uh, American, uh, oriented American uh, appassionati, basically were surprised. You know, we, th we thought, you didn't, you thought of, of the European countries as being uh, related to America to a much greater extent. But mm. remember, all during the Cold War, they did business with Cuba and with Russia. And that, those are bonds you just can't yank. You can't unplug the gas lines from uh, Washington. All right, so set the scenario here for us, Steve. I, I would assume that Putin, uh, his, his uh, popularity ratings are still high yes. uh, in yes. Russia. They are. And, and they, they, they still have to deal with the situation here, not so much with the United States, but the surrounding countries right now. Will sanctions be eased in your mind against Russia to probably equate some sort of deal here, some sort of compromise, in your opinion? They will be equated in fact. And I think, speaking of one's mind about this, I think that will augur, again, 
uh, a great deal of a surge in popularity for Putin as he steps up on the stage again as an international player. He is not a regional player, although he's being treated that way. Well, you know, international some, player. They, some still consider him a thug, but here's a guy who's winning the chess game. If yeah. all this happens, and you know, Steve, he wins again. He is. You know, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He's a, he's a deft politician, and he is the World Series of Machiavellian politics. He really is. I mean, and he's also brutally frank about what he's doing. I mean, he's not, there's no hiding what he would, would do and has done. Okay, quickly here, uh, in, in closing, then, okay, Crimea is off the table. I think uh, it is. Okay, I so what about East Ukraine? East Ukraine, you know, now it's up to Poroshenko. Mm. Uh, the, the, the momentum goes back to him to see what he's going to do and how he can pull this all together. But I have to say, in, in, uh, John Kerry, Kerry's in a tough spot, but I admire what he's doing. All right. Well, you know, I'll tell you, Steve, uh, as they say in Italian, sempre un piacere. <laughs> Always a pleasure, my Grazie, friend. Grazie, and uh, I'll see you very soon. You Thank got you. it. All righty.